I'm out here bass fishing today with an old family friend, Roger Berkman. How you doing, Roger? I'm doing great, Chad. Good to see you, buddy. You know, a lot of people know you, especially around Louisville through sports. You know, you've been the athletic director of Trinity High School and now Spalding University. Yeah, it's been 16 years I've been at Spalding. That's amazing. So you yeah. came and played basketball in Louisville in the 80s, won a national championship. We're going to learn a little more about yeah. that later on. Spent some years in the NBA. You've been a lifetime long fisherman, haven't you? <laughs> Yes, I have. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I chose Louisville over the other schools that were recruiting me. Yeah. Coach Crum took me fishing. <laughs> that's a true story. That's a smart technique right there. But, you know, we're going to hear a little more about what you got going on, and, you know, hopefully we're going to catch a couple fish. Sounds great. So, hey, let's uh, let's get started. Let's what go do think? it, baby, right, right now. And let's make it happen. <laughs> right. So, until we get some wind, I'm going to throw a swim bait and a creature bait. It's a good idea. I might even throw this topwater bait a second. There we go. There you go. Second cast on swim. Oh uh, yeah, uh, swim bait. Spinner bait. Spinner bait. There you go, buddy. There we go. Got a. Uh -oh. oh, quick release. Quick release, man. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm out of here. There you go. Well, that's not too bad. No, that's a nice start. Yeah. First fish. It's always good to get one on always the board. Always good to get that first one. Yep. Oh. There you go. You slow rolling it? Slow rolling this little War Eagle swim bait yep. with a little trailer on it. Got a little, little color on it. You know, when we pulled up, I was looking at your graph. Uh -huh. Those fish looked like a lot of them were sitting in that six, eight foot range. Right. So this is a bait that's really easy for me to keep it in a particular strike range, so. Good. I tell you what, this is one of those days, this time of year, it's gonna get nice and warm and hot today, but the water temperature's not hot. It's still 60 degrees. And we're gonna have a lot of wind. Right. Tell me a little bit about it, being an athletic director. The whole idea, I guess, is to have sports that attract and make a better experience for the students that are going there, right? We definitely want them to have that collegiate experience that student athletes deserve. We've been very fortunate, very blessed. We've been able to build the programs. That's pretty cool. Check out that snake, Rod. Yeah, it's swimming along. There's a lot of them out here on this lake. You know, it looks like a northern water snake. It's amazing to me the number of them that lose their life every year being mistaken for a copperhead. <laughs> really? Yeah. People think those are copperheads all the time. I get pictures and, hey, check out this copperhead. And I'm like, well, northern water snake. I'll tell you what, though, you try to pick one of those up, they will bite you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's a little better fish. A little better fish. Come on around here, Junior. Oh, kid -okie. That's on a jig, isn't it? That's on a jig. There you go. Look how you just choked that. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Now this fish is either a male or has spawn. Yeah, you see its tail, it's, you know, I think you're right, I think it's a male. Yeah. So, we'll find some females, you wait, and we'll have some eggs in it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good fish. We're gonna put them back. There you go. There you go, fellas. There you go. So now, Roger, what years did you play basketball at UofL? I played from 1977 to 81. Okay. So yeah. I knew you were there for the 80 championship team. I was, I was on the 80 championship team. That was my junior year. I remember still watching that game. I was pretty young. You guys had a special team that year. We had a bunch of just really good athletes, role players that all cared about each other and very competitive. It got you drafted into the NBA, right? It did. It gave me a chance to play, and I was a late round draft pick to the Bulls. No one expected me to make that roster, and let me tell you, that was one of the toughest eight weeks of basketball in my whole career was just making that team. Yeah. There we go. Got him? Yep. There you go. Oh, he's a he's an angry little fella. He got an attitude problem, doesn't he? He does have a little attitude. A little nicer fish. Yeah. Look at him. He's just, he ain't going, he's not giving up. He's going, look, Chad, you got to put me in the net. Look how he choked <laughs> that again, though. Come here, Junior. You have convinced me. That thing splashed me. Look at that. That fish got me wet. He was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He went after it, didn't he? That's a nice fish, Roger. Good solid fish. That's a good two pound fish. Love him. We're gonna put him right back in the water right there. That's a better oh, that's fish. That's a little better fish. Let me get that net. 
There you go. Thank you, brother. It's the best one we've had today. Oh, you look at that. Came right out, didn't I? I knew I had to keep pressure on it because I couldn't, didn't get a good uh, hook set at him. But hey, well, he's in the boat. That's all that matters. There you go, man. That thing was shallow, huh? Yeah, it came right off that log. I mean, it's cool. That's one of those bites that's, you see him come around a log and grab that bait. Yeah, that's a little better fish. Nice job, man. I don't know if you can see the tail of that, Chad, but you can see where it's been fanning. Yeah, it's see on the, the it's kind of on the top. But yeah, yeah, that's different, isn't it? Yeah. All right, buddy. Here we go. Hey, Chad, look over there. There's a bald eagle. Well, that is pretty cool. It'll land right there for you. That's pretty cool. You see, there's a couple, actually, there's a couple of bald eagles that live back in this area of the lake. We see them every it's year. It's amazing you're starting to see that on these small bodies of water. Look at this little joker. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So we've been seeing ah. these fish follow our baits in. There's these little gizzard shads and you can see the black dot right on the side of his face there. There are a ton of these. They were following that spinner bait in and I thought, you know what? There's gotta be a good sized bass over here because look at the size of that shad. I mean, that is a perfect meal for a big old large mouth. Yep. See ya. What do I got? Look at well, the crappie. I'll be daggone. If you had a whole bunch of friends in there, we'd be keeping you. Yes. Here we go. What do we got here? I don't know, but I'm gonna get out of the way and grab the net. I'm hoping it's about a five pounder. Oh, oh you got you a big old drum. I got a drum. My golly, look at that. Now look, that's not coming on my boat. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay. I don't blame you. Hey, we've been seeing all those every cast and the bass haven't been responding. Well, we'll just fish for drum. <laughs> That's a heck of a drum you got. <laughs> oh, freshwater drum. All uh, right, here we go with freshwater drum. You know, I'll get see in my you boat, later. I guarantee you. <laughs> well, hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. You know, Roger, we've had a good morning. It's been a lot yeah. of fun getting out and catching yeah. up. Anytime you want to go, let me know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh.